How's it going guys? Pidgey PCs here. Uh, today we're going to do a little, little something different. Um, as you saw on last week's uh, video, I built the Titan 1. Um, today we're actually going to do a, a benchmark on it. A um, few tools that I want to use while doing this is I'm going to use a decimal meter to read how loud the fans get. Um, as well as basically just a in-room temperature gauge. Um, that way I can just kind of see what the room is prior to doing all of this. Um, as you can see on the screen here, I have a hardware monitor. Uh, this will just help me monitor all the GPU and CPU temperatures, mainly focusing on the CPU. Um, I'm gonna do four different runs. I'm going to basically do two Cinebench runs, one with the CPU overclocked through the BIOS and the other with the overclock off in the BIOS. Um, on top of the Cinebench, that's the synthetic benchmark, I'm also going to run a Final Fantasy benchmark, which will be more of your real world. And then I'll do that benchmark, you know, with, uh, with the overclock on and off. So let me just load up Cinebench here. I do have the overclock off. The only thing I got on this system right now is the uh, the XMP profile on. Um, so let's go ahead and load up Cinebench. And as you can see, the in-room temperature is 23 degrees Celsius um, right now. I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but the package is at 24 degrees Celsius. Um, so let's go ahead and accept this. That way we can start our Cinebench run. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a 10 minute one just to test the throttling of the system. Um, right now, our decibels are at... Just under 45 decibels, um, even putting it right here, we're at 48 and a half. So right at the fans, we're at 48 and a half. Um, I'll basically be testing the, the system as we're going. So sit back and hold on. Um, this will actually be fast forwarded for you, so you don't have to sit through the full 10 minutes of testing. All right, guys, we're getting into the final pass here, um, showing that we only got about 20 seconds left on the Cinebench. Our decimal meter hits about 61 to 63 decibels from the fans on the top, um, so they are ramping up pretty, pretty good, actually. Um, looks like it's going to have time for just one more pass here before the time ends, and then we'll, I'll let you know what the actual temperatures are. All right, so it looks like our pass is done. Uh, let me go ahead and take a screenshot of this. That way you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at here. Um, looks like our package temp hit about 81 degrees Celsius at its max, and you can kind of see what the other cores did. Looks like we did a full 100% utilization on all of the cores, including the E cores. Um, and then in the clock speeds, you can see here that we've got a mix between 4,900, 5,000, 4,900, and then the, the E cores being at 3,800. Um, I've got our fan RPM speeds up here. Um, and then you can see just on the, the CPU multi-core that we've got uh, 22818 as our score. Uh, so let's go ahead and get out of Cinebench here. Um, and then I'm going to clear the min-max, and then we're going to get into our uh, Final Fantasy uh, benchmark. That way, you know, we can just kind of see what's going on there. So in order to do this one, I do need to set a timer on my phone for 10 minutes, and I'll make sure to do that as soon as, 
stop dropping it. But let's go ahead and start this on a loop. And then that way we can go from there. And then that way I can just show you exactly what this is going to do. So I'm not going to start the loop yet until the Final Fantasy run starts. And this will just kind of give us a real world uh, view. So it looks like it's starting now. Let's go ahead and start the 10 minutes and I'll be right with you guys. Alright guys, so we're getting into the final 30 seconds here. I'm um, just letting my decimal meter calm down here just a minute. So 47 looks like the peak there, and I'm just going to kind of take a screenshot of this uh, this Final Fantasy run here. That way you can see that it's at 1440p maximum with the correct things. Alright, so now that we are done there, let's go ahead and exit out of it. And then I'll take another screenshot of the uh, of the hardware monitor time or temps that way you can see what's going on here um, so this time it looks like our temperature has hit a max of 55 degrees um, looks like the actual utilization was just all over the board but the clock speeds were were up there as well with this uh, with this whole thing so now it's time to do the um, the overclocking so we're going to get into the settings here and we're going to basically restart into into a bios that way i can enable the the multi-core enhancement and all of that so we'll go to troubleshoot advanced options ufei uh, firmware and then restart so we're going to get into this that way we can get this all going here All right, now that we're in BIOS, uh, we are going to go here and we're going to remove all limits. Um, this way we can just let it go. Um, yeah, so ASUS Multicore Enhancement is good. Let's F10 to get out of here. This system will restart and I will be with you when we start the Cinebench run. All right, now that we're back in here, we're going to go to 10 minutes to test the throttling. And now that uh, ASUS Multicore Enhancement Overclock is enabled to where it just lets it rip, that's what we're going to do. We're going to let it rip. And I will be with you guys in 10 minutes to show you the temperatures, the uh, decimal meter. We are at about 24 degrees Celsius in the room now. So let's go ahead and let's let it run. All right, guys, um, so I had a little mess up with the AI utilization. I didn't enable AIOC, but I do have it enabled now, and we're getting into the final 10 seconds. Looks like this will probably be the last pass. Um, temperatures did go up quite a bit with the decimal reader at 65, so fans were ramping up pretty, pretty high. Um, you know, like I said, this is just a CPU test and I will screenshot this so you can see, uh, the temperatures looks like it did hit a hundred degrees on core seven. Uh, but we do have full utilization of the P cores at 5,100, 5,300, 5,100, and then the E cores are at 3,800. Um, this is the Cinebench run. Uh, looks like we've got, uh, 23,740 as far as our score. Uh, so let's go ahead and exit out of this and then get into our Final Fantasy uh, benchmark. Um, 
I may actually run another benchmark on this. It'll be the uh, 3D Mark benchmark, just to see what this thing will hit with the GPU being at full utilization, shoving hot air through the top. Um, so let's go ahead and get my phone here. Let's go ahead and run the timer. Let me put it right here. And then let's go ahead and start this loop. Or, you know what? Before I do that, I need to make sure I clear values. So let's go ahead and clear the min max and let's get started. Like I said, I won't start the timer until the Final Fantasy benchmarks actually start running. Um, but this is with no limits on. So we'll run this one. And then after this is probably when I'll run the 3D mark. So let's start our 10 minutes. I'll be right with you. All right, guys. So we're, we're rounding out the last 30 seconds of this test. Um, you know, I was kind of wondering why the Cinebench run was so high as it was. And I'll get into that after, you know, I get the the timer done here which is almost over um but first we'll check the specs after running this this benchmark here uh so it looks like we're done here um so let's go ahead and exit out of this and then i'll take another screenshot of the specs on this thing that way you can see it um as soon as it wants to load so looks like what we're sitting at here is it hit a max of 68 degrees. Um, once again, all of our core clocks were, were up there. You know, like I said, this is AIOC, so that's what this is at. Um, you know, all of these specs I will overlay into the video so you can just see all of this stuff. But while that benchmark was running, I went and grabbed a box of the Bits Power fans that come in this Titan 1 here. Um, and just to show you here, these are the specs that are on it. So it looks like the max air pressure on these fans are 1.2 millimeter H2O max. Um, not ideal for radiators, they work. Um, if you were to use this, I would say not to AIOC the system as it will more than likely throttle. Uh, this is only a 12700K, so it's not like your 12900K or your 12900KS, which are way more heat intensive. Um, but that's what these fans run. Um, you know, the decimal readings, I think the highest on the AIOC was at 64 dBA. Um, that's what I saw on the Cinebench run, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video here. Um, you know, this was kind of new for me, so I just wanted to make sure to kind of do this right and just show you guys what you can expect as far as temps and things like that, just depending on the load that you do. Um, I don't want to run a 3D mark just because we were thermal throttling in the Cinebench run. Um... But yeah, stay tuned guys, we've got more content coming. I've got quite a few builds planned. Um, you know, I've got an MSI Evangelion, an ROG Evangelion, and then a couple secret ones that I'm still trying to collect parts for. But you guys will see what those are coming from and hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.